How much on the games? Yeah. These two will be better. I'll tell you what, Nintendo 64, it's a rare find at the flea market. Thanks for that, mate. Appreciate it. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but there is nothing more fun than jumping into your local flea markets on a Sunday morning to find absolute bangers that we can sell for a really high profit on eBay. That's what we're doing today in this video. I went out this morning with my good mate, Jamie, and we filmed a bunch of really cool finds. So hopefully you enjoy it. Let's dive into it. I'll show you what I was able to pick up. How much on the jacket, mate? 20. 20? So small. Yeah. Pretty good. You sold that airplane, mate? No, not yet, mate. How much was that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Would you do 15? Uh, I'll take it for 15. None of them won. Yeah, all right, let's do it. How much on the Minecraft books? About 10 bucks on that one. 10 bucks? Yeah. yeah, okay. Have you got any more shoes? Uh, yeah, I've got a few down there. Yeah, okay. Running shoes is what I'm typically after. Not running? I'll have a think about the books, mate. No worries. No worries. All the best today. No problem at all. Thank you. What size are they? Yeah, a good size. 150? Yeah. That's probably fair, isn't it? Yeah. That's going to go a dollar each. Dollar each? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's three boxes there. Oh, is there? Um, any video games? These are a dollar. There's one more box. Uh, <laughs> I got nine here, mate. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Oh. 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 Yeah, dude. Souls are. These are all good, aren't they? Yeah, Pegasus City too. Yeah, I think I've seen these at the op shop. Oh, whoa. Yeah, these are sick. Six bucks. And the Magisters. Those are good. These are really good. These are the Magister. No, no, there's one there. And then you got some over here too, behind you. So I think, oh, the Janoski's are good. So these, how much on the shoes? Uh, the, these ones are 15, but the rest of the runners are 10. 10, okay. Them as well. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big win on those. Yeah. Nothing else? All right. We've um, we got five pairs here. They are all $10 a pair. That's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Apart from the um, basketball shoes, the Nike ones. No, we got them out oh, yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all, you know how dear they are, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 50 you know, bucks is fine. Yeah. All right. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Awesome. Very much appreciated. Some sketches. How are we going, guys? Always. How you been? Good, yeah. I've been really well. Oh, 
And they're genuine, they're actually not... They're um, really expensive though. Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah. Is it? And it is genuine, eh? That's a 2002 one. Yeah. And online they're about $100. Are they? Yeah, because they have to, something to do with the label. I don't know what it is. And that one there is the same year. Same year, 2002? Yep. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. How much are you doing on them? Uh, you can have them for 35. Yep. And that's 25. And 25 on that. Yeah, okay. Now, the 90s and the sketches. What would be the best price on those? Oh, you make me an offer and I'll see if it's good enough. <laughs> well, I love flea market. <laughs> oh, we, we negotiate well. We do negotiate well. Look, I love to grab shoes for 10 each. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it for 10 each. How, where are we starting at? <laughs> okay, with the two of them. We'll start at 40 and we'll work down. 48, oh, so 20 each. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. 30. You're in the middle, 35. Yeah, I am 35. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I got the backing and the support. I thought she was on my side of the fence. <laughs> She's on your side of the fence. You've got an insider. Listen, 35, I've just gone with bottle scotch. You can't get any cheaper than that, all right? 35 is the lowest? Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> well, what if I still wear in an hour? I do get a lot of shoes and I do try and resell a lot of shoes. Okay. Well, thirty dollars and You happy to do with thirty? Yeah, that's Let's do it. Thank you. Have a good one. Now, what do you know? Right. So on the on this bit here. Yeah. JW. JW. Uh, Jurassic World. Jurassic World. Yeah. Therefore. Um, they sell well. They sell. Well. <laughs> that's all you need. Um, yeah, that, oh, that's the other way. Yeah, that's 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 but you give me your best voice, mate. Oh. I have to have a look. Yeah. I don't no know them all off the top of my head. Yeah, I know no the problem. Golden Eyes and Tony Hawk are going to be the lower end ones. Yeah, right? definitely. And then These yeah. two will be the better. And yeah. the Majora's Mask. That, that's up the top there, too. That's probably the yeah. best one. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. These are probably personal buy from me if I, as well. Personal? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Nintendo 64, it's a rare find at the yeah. flea market. Yeah, I've, I've had it online and I've had a lot of interest, but... A lot of people just really trying to undercut you, so... Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you were saying 50 a piece on yeah, these? Yeah, yeah. What about... Would you do 40 a piece? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's do that. I'm happy to yeah, take that. No, right. Thanks for that, mate. No problem. Appreciate Enjoy. it. See ya. How good. Good games. They're all good games. That's not very exciting. No. Mm. No chance of a buy them all scenario. Please. Things I need to do today. So that's the EBC answer. Wow. And now it's over. Yeah, wow. Well. Oh, well. You're not going to get that done at the market, so are you? <coughs> you see this? Oh, oh, here we go. Number. That's really cool. Fifteen on the bag. Yes, it's actually a player issue one from one of the indigenous games. You know that I play at Skill Park. The, yeah. Um, I noticed it was with the number on it. Yes, because my neighbour worked for Sofitel, and he got it given. Oh, he got he it given. given. To my, yeah, by one of the players, and wow. then my son never used it. Player issue bag. Player issue bag. So I don't know who number 23 was. No, neither do I. But I mean, it wouldn't take long to do a bit of research. Nah. So it's from about three years ago? Yep. So Three years ago. Yeah. And so how much did you say? 15? It's 15, yeah. It's never been, well, it's never been used Hardly. by us. It's just been stood there. Yeah. You know, but sometimes you just got to, he wants to make money and I want to make money, so. Oh, here. Yeah. Would you do 10? Nah. Oh. You know, suitcases are quite... I'll, I'll do 15. Okay, thanks. No drama. I know, that's your change. That is brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I love hunting for DVDs. <laughs> oh, I have so many. Do you collect or do you sell? Or? No, no, I collect, but now yeah. I have around 5,000. You got 5,000? Yeah. Wow. But sometimes I bought twice, so. Oh, so you got a few double ups? Yes, exactly. Is there any particular genre that you like to look for? No, no, no special. Or any actors? More thriller than Ali, but. Yep. Yeah, it's amazing, um, I guess, the market for, for DVDs. Oh, yeah. Sign one or? I've got eight there. You can take that. Thank yeah, you. no worries. Okay, guys, we're back home, and it's a pretty good stack today. I'm kind of happy with this. We've spent $205 in total. Uh, got a number of great items that I think are going to go on to make some really good money. The first one here is this Jack Daniels. Um, this was this was really nice. It's a size small, but it fits. I actually wore it just because I didn't have a bag with me at, <laughs> in the market, so a rookie error. Um, but I ended up wearing this, and it was actually fitting more like a large. So I think these sort of racing jackets, I paid 20 bucks. I should be able to get maybe, I don't know, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about $80 for that one. It was brand new with tags, which is even better. So yeah, maybe 80 maybe even 100 bucks. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, we did really well up here as well. I was kind of excited when I saw this um, player issued Indigenous All-Stars uh, number 23 backpack. I'll have to do some research to work out who that exactly is. Um, hopefully that'll be an easy find. Um, not sure what I'll get for it. I'm thinking maybe about 50 bucks, something like that. Could be a bit more. We'll see how we go. Um, DVDs. Now, this was in the cardboard box unopened, and I pulled out all the TV series. Uh, the Vampire Diaries, it goes for about $40, and I'm paying just a dollar each here, so six bucks into 40 bucks. That was pretty good. Um, pretty Little Eyes, if you get all six seasons, it's worth $40. I've only got three seasons here, but my benefit is they are all brand new and sealed. So, I'm anticipating maybe $25 to $30, but again, I'm only paying three bucks there. So DVDs, we did really well. Um, the shoes, now there were two different purchases. I split uh, these shoes here with Jamie, as you would have seen. And then these right here, I grabbed off a lady for $15 a piece. And these are definitely the better shoes of the bunch. These are the Magista uh, Opus, and uh, they're a really top of the range uh, Nike Magista footy boots. So they're actually going to go upwards of about $100 because they are in great condition. Um, I'll give you a bit of a tip around my footy boots and the way that I source them in just a moment. Um, these ones here, these are the Derupts, so Adidas Derupt. Um, they go for about $80. So again, condition excellent on those. I should get a full $80 there. And then these had Pharrell Williams on them as well. So I'm, I'm oh, I'll get that focus. There we go. Pharrell Williams. So they should go, I don't know, maybe the size only the issue there, maybe about 50 bucks, 60 bucks on them. Uh, these here should all go for about $40. So I'm building the relationship with the lady on these. Um, she knows that I'm a reseller. I did mention it to her today and she knows the brands that I'm after. So maybe we'll get some good results come through uh, in the shoes with that lady moving forward. So I'm happy to pay up for them. Uh, these were awesome. The best of the day, Pokemon Stadium. I've got a Nintendo 64 console at the moment, so I'm going to be playing this game, and then I'll go on to look to resell it. Um, look, I paid $40 a piece um, for Donkey Kong and Pokemon Stadium, but I should be able to get probably $70 a piece. So I think there's about $140 worth of value, and I've paid 80 So in the end, after fees and postage, I might make myself about $30 but I just had to grab them. As soon as I saw them, I had to get my hands on them. And then these were the DVDs in the uh, two for a dollar rack. And to be honest with you guys, I just thought I'd just test my knowledge and see how I went. This one here, it just interested me, the uh, the title and the, the front cover, it just looked cool. Uh, volume one, that's something I'll always look for as well. Actually sells for $20. So I got lucky with that one there. I do know this one from past sales, the Chasers War on everything. Fleet sets go for about $40 to $50. I'm missing one, so I'm probably going to get, there was, I think there was a comp for $18, but I'll probably end up getting about $25 for that. So that's a, a bolo to look out for. And unfortunately, even though I've only paid the 50 cents each, these only go for about 10 bucks. So music DVDs generally do pretty well for me. I Dream of Genie, the third season, I can get about 10 bucks for that. So look, ultimately, it's not the end of the world. I paid $2 and I should be able to get $40 uh, before fees and postage. So... All in all, guys, $205 was the spend for everything you can see here, plus the Jack Daniels jacket. I think we've had a pretty good run. 
So it was just these footy boots that I wanted to give you a bit of a pro tip on. I'm, I'm doing really well with my footy boot sourcing because I know exactly what to look for. And I've often found shoes in op shops and flea markets and garage sales, just like these, that unassumingly don't look like they're worth too much money, but they are the real deal. And it's actually the molded studs. So they're often clear tipped. Now, if I put it on my white, on my black shirt, you might be able to see, see how there's a, like a really kind of light, almost clear see-through there on the mold. Um, versus just a, a maybe a deep black plastic. Um, those tips with the clear bottoms, I know it doesn't sound like too much, but that's a, a that's probably best to see it there. That is a dead giveaway that these are more top of the range. And sure enough, when I got back home, I realized that these are the Nike Magista Opus. And this colorway is actually really difficult to find. It's a rare colorway. And, I wasn't surprised because as soon as I saw those when I was out there in the uh, in the flea market, I knew that they were gonna be worth quite a bit of money. So to be able to get them for just the 10 bucks, these Nike Magista Opus, I should be able to get 100 bucks for them when I put them in a washing machine and clean it up. So there's a little tip for you when you're out there looking for, uh, for footy boots. It's not the be all and end all or the one thing to look for, but it's just a little clue uh, when you're out there next looking for your boots out in the thrift. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. I'm very much looking forward to listing up all of these items, bringing a what sold video to you on Tuesday. Um, look, thanks again, obviously, for all the messages of support around the face. It's, um, it's not as painful as it has been uh, in the last couple of weeks. It was a real battle for me last week, especially, but I'm on the right medication now and I'm feeling a heap better. So once all this clears up, I will be back to normal, but um, I'm definitely feeling a whole lot better, that's for sure. So um, appreciate you tuning in, sticking through for these videos to the end. My 30% clubbers, you guys are absolutely the best in the world. Uh, really do appreciate your support and uh, we'll catch you on Tuesday for another vid.